Okay, and we continue. So what was not working? Okay, so posting seems to work. Uh, selecting image seems to work, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, editing doesn't seem to work because this button is not plugged in, right? Okay, so editing is supposed to be the same. It's it's like literally the same, right? So I uh, just oh, I think I forgot. No, I will forget. Um, yep. Okay, so now if we do this, for example, yeah, and it is saved as well. Okay, cool. Um, you can change picture. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, it seems we can. Cool, 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 cool. This is very, very good. I like it. Okay, yeah, can we delete picture? Let's see. Boom. But yeah, it appears we can as well. Huh. Well, I'm now feeling that we are really close to finishing it. Huh. Okay, so what we need to implement now is this cancel edit. So cancel edit in this case we yeah we need deleting state, right? So uh, that means that here we have deleting or something like this. Uh, then we go to debug, we go say deleting post status deleting. And deleting failed is actually the same as post failed, by, but maybe it's different. A message. Actually, I am now realized that error should be hmm. Like this. Okay. And same goes to deleting actually, right? So it is better this way. I'm not sure which way is better, but maybe this one is better for sh for. I don't like big nesting sequences, and this is not not fun right here. Okay, but okay, deleting failed. We need to go to draft delete. Draft delete, and that's that. There is that right. There's also pause delete, but it's not triggered directly. There's no button for it. Um, yeah, so here for some reason indentation is a little bit off by one space. Uh, drafts delete. Okay, let's go drafts delete. Maybe I also want something like success and success will return 200 so I, I was seeing some errors because uh, on XML HTTP request it was expected it was trying to parse empty body as XML so I added text plane it seemed to work uh, but now I am Uh, have to 
Yeah, I, maybe I want it called success response because like, and I also don't need a function for that, right? So it's just, uh, well, I might need a fun, no, no. Maybe I call it empty success response. Yes. Like this. Okay, there is nothing for me. Here I need this empty success response. Anything else? No. Let's see if we compile. We seem to compile, reset. Okay, yeah, uh, so now I also want to, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's not, it's not over yet, but we have to basically do the same as fix me, right? I also want to move delete after publishing because it, I'm not sure the second option, right? So here we have, um, payload, I don't need a payload, right? So we have to wait. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to change. Uh, post status publish. Think. This I forgot this. Yeah, this is important. This is important as well. Um, yeah, so this doesn't matter because we move to a different page here. It does matter. Actually, uh, let me have it this way. So we clear up message if there was one, right? And then we, yeah, this I like more. Um, I think I did, I don't know. This one, this seems okay as well. Okay, so deleting. Okay, so if deleting succeeded, we again move to, to somewhere else. If it didn't, so I think I'm gonna go with the same. Just because it's way shorter. No, I guess it's correct. Okay, cool. So now we have deleting st status and publishing status. The only thing left is to actually implement deleting status, right? Um, I guess we need some like status in here anyway um, so if uh, we if we either replace first button or second button with uh, loader right deleting and the loader is yeah so we, we, we might as well uh, put it loader make it as its own component uh, it's not interactive at all but yeah why not okay so if we are not so either we delete draft or show loader i hope so my yeah Biggest concern if that nothing jumps. So I, I really um, dedicated to see that there's no jumping. So yeah, okay. Um, there will be jumping. Fuck. <laughs> there will be jumping. So because these buttons <laughs> are shorter, so um, 
if we go here right we matched the high of the loader to this button if you place the same loader here it, because the height is defined by this it will be fine but 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 what about this delete draft <coughs> So the problem with it is that it doesn't really have it doesn't really have height. That's a problem. Okay. Um, it has padding. So I'm just I'm just wondering if I will be able to produce a rectangle of exactly the same size probably not but I will try <laughs> um, let's say between these two buttons we are in post now right yeah, so let's say between these two buttons I would place a div with a style and it will have padding and padding will repeat 613 635 and it will have a border one pixel solid blue border and yes for example okay now of course because it doesn't have anything inside what if i put non-breaking space in there okay so there are break space space no break space okay it's that okay so it seems too much because right now if i can hmm, can i match also so this is enough in theory to to put spinner on the right, right? i'm wondering if that's enough to align on the right okay so i'm wondering if this is enough to also match the width so in theory yeah i can like delete draft right this is totally possible okay so let's say we go to some edit post like this and uh, yeah and move move here okay so this doesn't change the height at all so now if i make this position relative i don't know and then make spinner position absolute would that work okay so now i have this and i also going to have for example this um okay but okay i don't want this okay if i do this it will be yeah way too big okay so now i need style here and it's going to be position absolute okay now it's kind of okay um but i also need to calculate the position okay so center it's also actually is it centered so centered right it's it's some some weird like position so uh top would be 50 percent minus so we had 76 it's 38 pixels okay yeah okay and same goes for left
Mm, I do, I do. So now it's centered, right? Yes, it might work. It might work. So now we have to hide like everything in there. Okay, so I guess I rename post loader to post post loader and go to CSS uh, and also add post. So there's a problem cancel or delete. Uh, that's called post cancel loader. Um, it is going to have padding the same as button. In our case, it is this. It's gonna have a relative position, okay. Okay, what else do I need to put in there? Yeah, I think that's it. So we can remove, for example, this, this, and call it post cancel order. Okay, now we have loader in there, and this is what we need inside. Obviously, we need margin of zero, we need position to be absolute, we need top to be this, and left to be this. Okay, so this must might work actually. Okay, and now, now. No, 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 no. So we don't need that. Okay, actually, yeah, let me if not equals post status. So I, I guess it should be canceling instead of deleting. I like this more. Okay, so this one we cannot move into separate component because it has to be has has to have exactly the same text, right? So yeah, this is it. And loader loading. Okay. Maybe I can make it like that. Where is another? Loader. Oh, I didn't put another loader. Yeah, but in there, yeah, so it has to be like this. Um, it also has to be, I don't need that probably. So the text must be different. Okay, so it's like this, and in case of update, we are going to make it kind of the same. Publishing. Um, update, otherwise. Okay, so I guess it, I'm going to call it post button and load, right? So, because it only depends on the size of the button. Mm. 
Maybe I actually should make it two different compounds because I'm, I'm not sure. It seems to me like the um, strange way to okay so <laughs> okay so we have four types of buttons post update cancel and cancel right delete and cancel basically but delete is gonna be we actually don't use this right so I probably can safely remove it um yeah so it's basically four types of buttons right buttons button post is post and button delete otherwise it's gonna be button update and button Okay, so this is button post. So the same way it's gonna be here, it's gonna be button delete. Okay. Then it's gonna be button update. Way. This uh, goes like this, and here we have finally button. Cancel. I also don't need buttons. It is button no? singular. Are you recording? Yeah, recording. Cool. Okay, so button cancel button blah blah blah. Um, yeah, so status scan because we only use it once. We can move it here. Post, delete, update, cancel, right? So, seems fine. Cancel, edit, delete draft, update, update, yes, seems proper. Okay, let's test it through debug, actually. So we have deleting, oops, don't have deleting. Yeah, for some reason we don't have deleting i'm not sure um i renamed deleting to cancel no well let's let leave it deleting so canceling is also deleting but deleting a draft so in that sense it is uh, does make sense so this is strange uh, and also we have we should have updating right and updating differs from posting by id okay so now we have posting Posting failed, updating, updating failed, deleting, deleting failed. Yeah, so this is like all incorrect. And we also have deleting here, right? Yeah, deleting yeah, media. It's not just deleting, it's deleting media, right? So, okay, 
I should use some other word for it. Okay, so we had um, a little conflict, but it's okay. Updating. Maybe I should prepend. So let's call them like post body the meeting then we don't need this and then again we have post Publishing, publishing failed, updating, updating failed, updating, updating failed. Okay, so this seems a maybe let's call it canceling. So for completeness. We also need no oh, wait. Yeah, so this is new post. And this is existing post. Okay, now, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's probably because I changed the state that. No, because of something else. Uh, maybe I have default state somewhere, like in you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's new post, it's existing post. This new post, another author. Oh, no, this is already body, so yeah. So this relates to new existing posts, right? Then we have like changes, and then we are publishing. Okay. Oh, I didn't change it here. Refresh. Okay, so yeah, this is a lot of states. Let's go to the ones we're interested in. New post publishing, and there should be spinner, and it's not there. Why? Okay, why it's not there? So we subscribe to post status, right? Post status publishing. Do we use publishing actually in debug? No, we use posting, right? So that's another problem. Right? Publishing. Okay, I'm not sure I change this. Yeah, I change this. Let me move it. To the front. Okay, cool. Publishing is working. Publishing failed. Deleting. Deleting failed. Seems okay. Existing post. Updating. Yes. Update failed. Cancel, cancel fail. Okay, but yeah, but uh, yeah, the message is different, probably. Canceling failed, but yeah, well, probably it will be deleting failed. Okay, so mm, I actually don't like it a little bit more. I'm gonna call it cancel, even though technically it's deletion. But I don't want like uh, you editing a post and click cancel, edit, and it says deleting file. You're like, wow, what, what was deleting? I didn't ask to delete anything, right? So you ask to cancel, right? And it's okay. 
Okay, okay. Uh, the only thing I need is right now the text. I need to hide the text, right? So I need to go to here and say color transparent. Yes, yes, perfect. Um, yeah. Okay, let me test it. So let me put. So there is publish and tweet. Yeah. Um, let me put thread sleep 1000 in here and the same in here. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's go to new post. Let's try to post something. Boom. Okay. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Let's go to edit. I think it doesn't have enough time to load this spinner, but it's also because I am actually not using any cache. So hopefully third time around. Yeah, now it, it is. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to solve this. It's. Um, I would try to solve it if there was a declarative way to solve it. Unfortunately, it seems like it doesn't work. Okay, so I tried it with this, this thing. Uh, preloading this <laughs> didn't work. I tried many different Normally you would you would want to specify it directly in CSS, right? Uh, yeah, so it suggests that, like if you put rel preload and it would preload, but it never really worked for me. So. Right, so for example, this. Let me put it in a head somewhere. Um, I need to figure out where. Maybe, 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 maybe it is somewhere in a server. No, it's probably in fragments somewhere, something like that. Or web. No, it's not a fragment, it's probably in a web. Okay, uh, yeah, the patch, yeah. Okay, you see here, so for example, if I do link rel preload, have something, something as image. Okay, and this, what, what do we need? We need actually this one. Yes. Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Um, yeah, it's this one. Okay, so if it doesn't work, it's not my problem, okay? But at least I tried. Um, so used to put these extra spaces between map and the key. I don't do that anymore. Um, let's leave it at that. Okay, so hopefully it will preload, or if not, it's not a big of a problem. Okay, so our buttons seem to work. Do we, can we have update? Yeah, it seems to be working as well. Okay, um, no, 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 it's not all. It's not all. What we need as well is while we are saving stuff, right? Let me increase this timeout to five seconds. Boom. Yeah. 
this. And then we can so so what I want to implement is well first of all we need to disable the call activity. And second we need to disable text area. So there should definitely be no dragging happening. Okay, and there should be text area should be disabled as well. I'm not sure if I need to display it somehow. Ooh, I probably do. Okay, so uh, what we need to go is probably debug, right? Then, for example, we go to this. So let's see if we can disable text area. So we need to go to body, right? And where are we rendering the text area? We need to disable. Do I have a lot of fragment subscribe? Okay. Mm -hmm. So disabled is It is disabled if post status is something other than new, right? Oops. This is for text area. Then we go to the editor and we have this dragon. Uh, it's defined in media and basically it depends on If somebody is dragging something and and also we have zero status in post saving. Okay, um, then we allow it, right? So Okay. Mm -hmm. There is that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Body address doesn't want to compile. What? What's wrong with that? Okay. I use fragments, but didn't import them. Okay. Okay. So now, now. Now, what do we have to do? Is it too wide? Too wide? No, it's not too wide. What do we need to do is to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. This one is one space off. Um, we need to disable uh, the trash can icon, right? So trash can icon is random. We need to actually change change this. Um, maybe, maybe, yeah. I'm now thinking about implementing something shared about this, but. There is obviously no no subscription and callback, so I'll just check. So we allow click to happen, but we do nothing if if there is status in the post. And then we would do need oh shit, I was having echo all this time. Oh my god. Oh my god, forty minutes of echo. This is terrible. Um, sorry guys, yeah, so the other thing is trash can icon, so trash and can icon is, where is it, random delete, so this is our,
Hmm. Okay. So there might be yeah. Okay. No, never mind. I was I was just thinking that there is slightly inefficiencies. So like for example, I subscribe here to post status, but I only care whether it's new or not, right? So if for example status changes from it wouldn't happen really. But it, if for example, just to be pedantic, if it changes from publishing to deleting this component shouldn't re-render but because it was dependent on post status it will re-render right even though we only depend on this thing being nil or not um yeah but i mean you can create a special cursor for this it would be like apply a function and then re-render based on the result of that function but i, I don't care really Okay, uh, oh, yeah, we don't need that. Um, mm -hmm. So now we are disabling this. Maybe I should put some picture in there because I like to see that there is no trash can account. So there's a dating like this, right? There is this. What's on? We have one extra. Yeah, I have one extra. I have actually. Oh, yeah, I have one extra. Okay, so let me put picture everywhere. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's trash can icon, but here there isn't right there is no trash can account. Yeah, okay so this is good this is good so this disappears um the styling of this i don't like the styling so everything disappears for some reason right so now it is like there's no no borders what's, what's oh this is because it has Because it has background color now. Uh -huh. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay. So this is what's going on, right? So the way this is implemented is that I have text area before element and after element that renders on top of that text area now they actually they render beneath the text area so that when you click it you actually touch text area and not uh, these elements right um hmm. let me think the text area underneath them is Okay, so if I, for example, restore this, but I also make two pixel padding. No, this is not what I want. Okay, okay, so the solution might be not to do this, but instead we have input, right? So if we have this input, wait, this input, if we put background. No, it doesn't affect anything, right? Why does it? I wonder also which one is. I guess this one. Okay, yes. Yeah, so after element has a background. Okay, so that's that's simple then, right? So we have to communicate uh, disable status to. In, oh, actually no but after is text area right okay let me go to here and see so we have text area <laughs> okay we have this um 
Should I really have it somewhere? Okay, 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 okay. okay. We have input uh, dot input before and after. So before and after element uh, on top of input itself, right? And text arrays inside. Okay, so we probably need something like this. Input disabled. And we say for it background is I, do, I, I, I like, for example, this color, right? So this is upload, and I think it's this. Input disabled. So we add disabled class to the input. We don't do this. I'm not sure why, but we don't. Mm, I think it will have some color anyway. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So we do that. We go to input. So we go to text area, which is in body. And it's here. We create. I don't know. Disabled variable here. All right, so disable. we still have to disable text area so nobody can type in it, but then we also have uh, to add class when disabled. disabled. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so it works now. Um, it disables, right? And also changes it text color and everything like that okay cool i think that's it i also need to remove of course oh no no no, no. don't do this so now it's disabled i have to remove this Mm-hmm. I have to remove body status because it is was never supposed to be there. I think it has to be dot status. I'm not sure why it doesn't have um, the piping after it. Why doesn't it? Right, sorry. Let's really see. Oh, it's because it's inside text area, not inside. Oh my god. So normally it would be like this. But uh, yeah, of course it's, it won't work like this. But no, no, it was okay. It was actually okay. So it has it will be just div and div that we will um, hide. Okay. Okay, I think we are good. Pretty much, right? Let's delete this post. This one as well. I was thinking where I can put delete, but I didn't need to figure anything. So who knows? Oh no, we're not we're not completely good. We actually have to go to editor here, and I think we have to get rid of this. Oops. And this. And this actually. This one's we need, this one we need, right? So I think we can go and delete this. Oh no no, this is post delete. Post delete we still need. Yeah, sorry. So we need to get rid of this. Oh wait, I where is publish? Draft publish. Yeah, we have publish, right? Yeah, so post delete is delete the whole post. This is image and this is 
like when you request must edit this looks exactly the same oh no there's post right so this is for form handling we don't do that anymore i think we don't need it um edit draft page i think we need that i think we need publish we need to we need take post i don't really think we need save post yeah that's what i thought we need yeah update post still used in use right huh. wait what I also wonder how try a sync would would work. <laughs> okay, so I think I know how it would work. Uh, no, I don't. Try sync is like completely separate from linearize, I think, right? But we'll try to post. But we'll try to post stuff. Um, update post, okay. um okay let's focus let's focus so this one potentially useful okay upload media is it useful yes it is useful um convert media yeah definitely convert image definitely useful okay cool um so i think we removed more or less unnecessary code let's restate it let's see if it saves <laughs> maybe i should let's see posting works yeah maybe even still this five thousand is too much okay um let's do that let's go edit Let's remove picture. Let's drop another picture. Update. Edit. Cancel edit. Uh, edit again. Let's drop image over that image. Boom. Yeah, okay. So it seems to work, right? So do we have the read? Yes, we have the read. Cool. Um, this is good. This is good. Okay, so this definitely shouldn't be in there for future. <sighs> yeah, so the only problem I'm concerned right now is there is Telegram message uploading that is asynchronous right so basically try a sync um, what it does is it tries in the background tries to execute some code for um, for a few Attempts, right? Once this is successful, it executes. It finishes. So the problem is the problem is well, the problem is update post. So update post is update post is actually what we should be using, right? So I'm not sure why, but um, in drafts we have drafts update, right? And if we go so there is update and it actually does linearize and create stuff and stuff like that right and we also have posts and but we don't have update in there right so we have delete by the way do we use it yeah we, we use it okay cool um yeah 
Yes. Maybe this can be simplified. This is a simple. I think this is simple. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the problem with this is basically we have to implement it exactly like here, but for posts let's go here and do that right so in our case update would contain post id fan we do load we don't have load for posts for some reason we have get right get post okay here's get post okay let's say we call it get post right so this is post this is post prime um, here posts and file, file. so this is our update post right so we move this and it's properly li linearized and stuff like that so this is good okay let's place it for example here right get post yeah get post we are not going to rename we actually load maybe we change it to get draft okay so this one rename it so that it's consistent between like get post and the, the get post is like everywhere um, hmm. or should i be renaming get post to load okay what no it's not ah because i am no maybe i don't understand why isn't it because only searches in clgc right okay so the how many matches are there not that many so maybe maybe so my only concern is consistency here so let's say get post Replace it this way. Seven occurrences, five files. Okay. And here, because we have git post, we rename it to load as well. Okay, so we load post by ID. We change it to uh, the directory is this. Well, actually, we can change it to this we don't need director right um yeah this should be okay we save post i'm not sure this pr str should be like this but that's probably okay and we return it okay so update here probably don't need the gear as well so let's uh, i recently learned that uh, your file has any number of arguments and basically what it will do is we will uh, join them as past segments so it's pretty 
pretty convenient, right? I was doing string concatenation or before that, but it's, it seemed unnecessary. Okay, and now we need to go to editor CLJ actually and find update post and change it to post update. Okay, and this is linearized. Okay, so yeah, so now I'm I am I'm happy. So anytime this thing tries to might have maybe I should add all oh, post ID we already have post IDs here it might be let's call it post id prime and yeah as i said this is unnecessary let's call it okay let's go and replace it Yeah, this seems good. This seems good. Um, what was it complaining about? So this file, draft. It says draft somewhere. Okay, yeah, this is post. Um, reset. Okay, great. So now I am not concerned about this. I think posts delete. We linearize. Okay, and this just serves images, so it doesn't really matter. Um, publish. That's is publish linearized. Yes, yeah, so it is. Okay, great. This is great. Delete media in drafts. Delete media is linearized. This is good. Uh, upload media. I believe it is linearized as well. Yes, good, 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 good. Update is linearized. This is just requesting a page, so it's okay. Let's make it yes, like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this seems what I would want, right? So let's see if it works. We want to check the telegram. Boom. Let me also. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is. <laughs> this is interesting yeah so this probably happens because we um, changed the id so if you edit a draft you have to you start with one id and then we change it to another right so basically yeah this is an interesting problem Normally, this shouldn't be a problem. I'm not sure why I disabled it. It's probably okay to linearize by two things. Um, let me see where is a problem. Posts update. Uh -huh. So I have a suspicion that publish bank. So it's editor 147, right? So 147 is here. Uh, so it seems that try async is not that async after all. 
this is interesting development. Mm. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, so uh, this is actually good. So this is a good demonstration of that this tracing and this uh, located in a correct file is because they actually need to access to the same internal state so it was a good call to placing them together so the problem that i am experiencing is that current agent id uh, is inherited by this future call right it should be not because it's different thread, we don't really care what was in there. So we just rebind it to new. We do probably want to inherit everything else. So this is okay. And the functions that we are going to call inside, they will still be itself linearized over this new post ID, right? So, so this should make us good actually, and it's not even a problem, okay? Update worked. Cancel edit. Actually, this problem why it loads, so, aha. Uh -huh. So now, there is some problem. What this problem is? Not sure. Uh, the post doesn't exist. Yeah, it seems the post is. But it's either corrupted or something else. It doesn't exist. Ah, why does it exist? This is strange. Maybe I should log like publishing and deleting and stuff like that. Okay, let's say we create a new, maybe I forgot that I deleted this. So that let's say I do this and I do this and then I go to edit and cancel this. Thing. Yeah, so this is not okay, right? And um, well, actually what worries me is that there is no post, right? So. Even though we see something returned here. Huh. If I go into edit and then go back, it still exists, right? Delete drafts. It's supposed to delete drafts, not posts. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so that's a problem. I, I was deleting whole posts instead of deleting drafts. Um, yeah. That was a problem. It's good to find it. Okay. Okay, so let's wait for one second, yes. It's also important that it's not yet here, but it's auto-saved, and then we can delete draft, and then it's gone, right? And we can change pictures. Yeah, it seems to work really well. Uh, deleting picture, yes. Creating, creating a new post. I still can delete, right? So yeah, I still can delete. Um, I don't know. It seems we got everything. Uh, the only maybe concern 
is yeah we should probably have default really here should we really seems to work fine for now we don't really a lot of base from a server yeah but I still don't trust react much so let's call it default value okay I'm not sure how to better format it but let's say like this okay then uh, how to save timer so some, yeah this one so I suggest like five seconds right uh, each five seconds if you type anything we will save it it doesn't cost us much okay 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 uh status we don't have right so this is clean and nice Read draft Read draft one two three four five yeah we want to save it cool um let's commit let's commit i think we are good for today uh, i think we have everything covered we have everything like collected in one place um i'm just checking that this renders okay as well seems to render okay okay I think there is no JavaScript in this page. So. Yeah, so this one probably has to go. Okay. Um, yes. 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 Yes, 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 empty success response. I actually curious how many stars to find do we have? Not many. Yeah. Okay, this this i hope preload works but who knows right um i'm still thinking that maybe this one should go to here and uh, this maybe Maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't really matter, probably. Where is loading here? Um, Was it already in the... No, it was in the center, right? Why is it at the left now? I know why, because I added... 
it was a div and it was like that uh -huh. um yeah this this will need some adjustment I just thought we are about done, but not apparently not yet. So the thing is, thing is, um, so there is this concept, right? Um, there are components, like you components that do something, right? And there are containers that contain them. And basically the idea is that you want to put all alignment, paddings, and I don't know what else, orientation, something like that, in the container. And you don't want to put it into on the component. So this is where we went wrong, right? And instead, um, our loader, so there should be loader, what you call loader is actually loader uh, floor or something like that, right? And then loader itself is an, just an image, right? Um, that is, we can actually go to web, find loader, and we can say that it is row and it is center. And that might actually work. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. So it works now. But yeah, so uh, I don't really like that. You see that everything is about image. It actually affects image, right? The image should be loader, actually. And this is, should be loading floor. Okay. Loader floor is basically this. Or I don't know, loader, loader. Block. Let's call it loader block. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. So the idea is is this is the image, and you should change classes on it, right? Okay, so this is, it, it has to be split block, it has to be this, and actually we can even set a background image URL and set it to URL. You don't need it to be actual image. like this right so it only now it's a matter of the size of the image so um gosh background yeah it seems okay background size okay let's let's first see what we will we'll fix it so okay so this is longer block this is loader itself so basically it's gonna be like this uh, we have to go to loader dress here our loader is actually a yeah, loader basically here we just add class loading error and maybe loading error in here. Now here we depends on the fact that it contains an image. It doesn't. It's loader itself. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. And we also go to buttons, obviously. We go, go to fragments as well. So this one we don't need after all. 
and here we have to do this. So this is our loader. No, 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 no. I missed some buttons. This one's one extra as well. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to oh, yeah, fuck, fuck. Yeah, this shouldn't be happening. Let's find yes, this is this is okay. Um see your address. Yeah. No, nothing. Okay, good. Um uh, we go here, we go to I don't know, here, yeah, and the bar uh, ground size is too big, right? So now I cannot remember, but if I said 100%, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, okay, so let's say we refresh and yeah, it seems, oh no, 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 this is something, something wrong. <laughs> Everything is wrong. Why is it not centered? Um, yeah, I guess there is some logic in here. Yes, and this logic is here. Okay, let's let's try it again. No. So loader parent node would be loader floor, right? Huh. Loader block, sorry. Actually, this is seems okay or not. No, it doesn't seem okay. Why isn't it? So we inserted the next series of posts before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Parent node. So it's basically like this. That's what happens when you program in JavaScript directly and when you do tree modifications instead of tree rendering, top down tree rendering. But it seems to work now. Okay, I am happy now. I am happy now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm, I think. No, I don't think we need to change anything. Yeah, we don't. Well, we don't. Yes, 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 yes. This has been a very, very long branch. And I started it because of two things. I wanted to have reliable posting and I wanted to implement video conversion. Now I'm not sure I have a moral capability to go on a quest of implementing video conversion but uh, for now i think we are good with posting so this system is not is strictly better than what we have before so it doesn't handle videos yet but I'll, this is something uh, okay I will add it later. Uh, if you, now, if you drag an image, it doesn't think that it's um, image. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Almost, almost got away with it. Almost, almost. Yeah, I know what is. Uh, I know what's uh, because we have status in other thing. Uh, we have it in no media. Yeah, right here. And this yeah 
it does it tries to create uh, like image from this and don't let it so yeah um yeah i should actually i meant commit it before anyone sees it i think it's yeah what i, what I was talking about like let me find it to figure out dimensions yeah it creates actual image i guess for video i have to create actual um video object something like that it's it's simple thing really it doesn't change just anything so so this was helpful i think debugging view like this was very helpful right so imagine how many states do we have that's a lot right and we go we can go through all of them uh yes <laughs> It won't show you the text because it's default value now, but yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's it. That's it uh, for today's video. Thank you for watching. And later, I'm not sure. Maybe eventually I'll start implementing video conversion. But for now, I'm like so done. See, look at this. Look at this. So we started February 13 first iteration and today is like March 17 so it's like a month like, and, uh, I don't know how many 20 commits something like that right or maybe 15 20 yeah that, so that's a lot uh, there was a lot of iterations inside of course uh, it's basically completely right of our editor uh, I also do some refactoring so clean things up so it's much cleaner cleaner now everything much cleaner now including the main site but yeah it was it was a huge project so yeah thank you for watching and happy closing bye bye